Recalling the ordeal which happened on Independence Day, 33-year-old Francina Hamunyela says no one was at home at the time of the fire and they lost most of their belongings and documents in the blaze. On the 21 of March at 7 o'clock, we experienced a fire we don't even know the cause of the fire as there was no one home. We just received a call from the neighbors that our house was on fire. By the time they started putting out the fire, it was too late. Nothing was retrieved. Everything went up in flames. The clothes, everything, even my child's new school uniforms and stationery, everything burned to ashes. These are the only burnt national documents and taxi fare that she was able to retrieve from the ashes. Another victim, 22-year-old Selma Kainda, says the incident has really put her back as she is already struggling to make ends meet. Out, not even a cup to drink water in. Documents, everything, IDs and stuff, everything is burnt. And I had my mom's death certificate because I lost my mom last year, September. I had the documents, they all burnt in. My brothers, because I'm the one with my brother and we... Nothing is left, not even the clothes. We only had what is on our bodies currently. The family lost eight birth certificates, three IDs, and one death certificate, which would have cost them $1,050 to renew. However, they say they can't afford this amount as they are trying to get back on their feet. This prompted the Ministry of Home Affairs to register them under the Mass Registration of National Documents program, which exempted them from paying for any national documents. After we learned that we contacted the, the victims and uh, we tell them that uh, why can't they come to the ministry so that uh, we can issue them with the national documents. Why are we issuing them with the national documents? This is also tied in a way that uh, currently the ministry is uh, having a um, mass registration for national documents. Really, as a ministry, we feel really deeply sorry for the family who lost their national documents. And we feel that uh, since we are, in the, in the, we are mandated for national documents or for civil registration, we contact the family agently so that they can come and uh, then we issue them with, with the national documents. We came here to seek our national documents, our birth certificates, for my children also. I'm grateful for Home Affairs, for assisting us here, for free. At least we won't have to pay. We are really grateful. I'm really grateful. And it's, it's something I really can't express. Because we lost everything, we had no ID, no anything, no birth certificate. It was really affecting me because anywhere you go, you need your, your documents. So we had no, nowhere to go, even if we had to go ask for help anywhere, we have nothing, no identifications. So we are really happy that Home Affairs helped us with our documents and it was for free. So we are really, really grateful for that. For now, the family are living in a makeshift structure at their plot, sleeping on mattresses donated by the city of Bantuk. Chulana Fuka, NBC News, Bantuk.